So every Jewish person who knows that they're Jewish knows that they come from Abraham, Abraham. They are children of Abraham. We go to a synagogue, you'll hear his name come up in the service, most likely. It means something to know that you're a child of Abraham because it means you can trace yourself back to this one man in the Bible and this, this one miracle of the Bible, so it's a blessing. It's an honor to be part of that, it, to be part of the promise. It means somehow you're part of this promise. You're one of the stars in the heavens that Abraham was to look up and not count. And there's a purpose in your life. Even if you're not, you're, you're not doing what God says, God still keeps His promise to Israel. Now, having said that, turn to Romans 4. Romans 4 verse 9. Now we take it to another dimension. Is this blessing then on the circumcised, Romans 4 verse 9, on the circumcised the Jewish people or on the uncircumcised the non-Jewish people by birth also? For we say faith was credited to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it credited? While he was circumcised or while he was uncircumcised? This is interesting what Paul's saying. Not while he was circumcised, but while he was uncircumcised and he received the sign of circumcision to seal the righteousness of faith which he had while he was uncircumcised so that he might be the father, listen, of all who believe without being circumcised that righteousness might be credited to them and the father of the circumcision to those who not only are of the circumcision, but who also follow in the steps of the faith of our father Abraham, which he had while he was not circumcised. What's he saying? Paul is saying Abraham is actually not only the father of the Jewish people who are by birth Jewish. He's saying that he was actually credited by God with righteousness before circumcision, so he's also the father of everyone who follows by faith Without that, the father of the circumcision, but also those who follow in the steps of Abraham. Goes on, verse 13, for the promise of, to Abraham, or to his descendants, that he would be heir of the world was not through the law, the Torah, Sinai, but through righteousness of faith. For if those who are of the law, the Torah, are heirs, faith is made void and the promise is nullified. For the law brings about judgment, for where there is no law, there's no violation. For this reason it is by faith in order that it might be in accordance with grace so that the promise will be guaranteed to all the descendants, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, a father of many nations I have made you. The promise here is saying it was not only to the Jewish people, but to all who are of faith. Abraham who is the father of us all. Now I'm going to read you another, you don't have to turn to it, but two verses from Galatians. Listen, the parallel list. Galatians 3 verse 7. Know therefore that those who are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. Galatians 3 14. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Hallelujah. What does this mean? This means this. If you're born again, you may be Irish, but you are a child of Abraham first. You might be Italian, but you are a child of Abraham first. You might be Spanish, but you're a child of Abraham first. You might be African American, you're a child of Abraham first. You might be Indian, you're a child of Abraham. You might be whatever, everything you are, you are first a child of Abraham now. You are as much a child of Abraham as a Jewish person by flesh is, you are by spirit. And doesn't mean they're not, they are too. They are by flesh and blood, and if they're born again also, but you, the Bible says you are born again, you are a child of Abraham. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, 
Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA.